Hey guys, what's up? This is I like from PCF. Just bringing you a tutorial on how to mod your your World of War Zombies, or how to decompress and recompress and get it to work all back together. All right, first thing you're gonna need is a patch from your World of War. There will be two patches. One is multiplayer for online game use, and also like uh, World of, like the the actual multiplayer, not not the zombies one. The zombie stuff is all in your patch.ff, so that's what we're going to be doing, because they're both very similar. Um, the p multiplayer has like 44 files or 42 files. The patch.ff file only has 13 for zombies. Alright, so first thing you're going to need to do is get your patch, and you want to extract it using offzip. Um, you're going to need offset and pack zip. So the first thing we want to do is decompress our patch. And these are the settings you want to use is minus A, minus Z, and minus 15. I already have mine all set up. So um, for other people, no, you don't have to use command prompt. You can use the GUI or, you know, drag and copy and paste stuff, drag and drop. It's a lot easier for others. For me, I don't have that option. But, uh, Alright, so we decompressed it. We have 13 valid blocks. Unlike World at War, we don't look for the GSC and then have to decompress it all again. It's already all done, so all we need to do is open it up. Well, depends on where I saved it. Where did I save it? On my desktop. Alright, anyways. It's all on my desktop right here. My bad. Um, the ones I want to look for. I'm going to do the factory for Doris is 206 and 24CA3. The other ones I can just get rid of. Alright, so I just want to open these up in HXD. Um, the one I'm looking for, like I said, is factory, so you want to type in .gsc can't find any because I'm looking in the wrong one. 206 is the lower one. So I'll just hit F3 since I already fucked it up. You can just hit F3 and it'll already search for ZSE. Alright. So there's factory underscore teleport dot GSE. The file doesn't begin with the zero, like right here. It doesn't begin with the dot. You just it starts right after the zero zero. So it'll be right here. Two three. So I just want to highlight it, scroll to the bottom, because I know it's continued, and then just left or uh, hold shift, left click to highlight it. You just want to copy, paste it, move to your next one, hit F3 to see if there's where the end of the next GSC is. But since there's no next other GSC in here, you just want to go to the end of it. I know where it is basically. You'll I'll have stuff in the description or in the thread my thread there showing you where the offsets are to help you guys out make it a lot easier. So once again do not use the zeros. You want to be before them so highlight right here. Um it should, so it should be zero F F F F F F. Alright you don't want to highlight the zeros. So you just want to copy that and then make sure you're you're blinking down here and then just paste insert alright after you do that you just want to save it and we'll call it factory dot gsc dot dat oh, that's what, at least what I'm going to call it because it's factory alright now we can close it leave those there we can right click it and open in notepad Use Notepad++. Plus plus. People don't use regular Notepad. All right. So there's our factory zombie mod or whatever. Um, these are the scripts it refers to. Is uh, I guess uh, maps utility zombie mod utility. So it 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 does go into those ones. So if you want to mod this this thing properly. You can also look up these ones. Whoops. My bad. 
look into those ones as well. Um, sometimes they might be they might be on the multiplayer dot patch underscore ff. But anyways, uh, so you want to do the teleporter cost? You want to set it at a hundred zero? Just put one hundred. So when you buy the teleporter, it's one hundred. Um, the cooldown instead of five seconds, I can put it down to one second. The teleporter delay, like when you click your button to buy the teleporter and you know it's like two seconds before it does anything, you can set it down to whatever. I just usually leave it. Um, the thing we're going to look for is teleporter passes. Scroll down a little bit, it'll be set up the pack a punch door. Alright? This is to open the door. You'll notice that when the game starts, the door is always down and then open or goes to a close. While the open is the minus 50, the close is my, our plus 50. So we want to keep scrolling down. I'll say teleporter pad link 1, and then 2 and 3, which is the door slowly opening. At, every time you do teleporter, it'll open so far. So this is the final thing after all teleporter links have been activated it'll open the door to minus 60 so what you want to do is highlight go up and go as far as right here where you would start the game so highlight shift and left click and then just hit backspace or delete either or bring this back up there you go so from now on with this mod the door will automatically be stay open it'll go from it'll just drop right to open so there's our mod for the door close it or save it sorry we can close this now get out of here so our factory GSC is now modded with the pack a punch door being open so you want to bring this back up into HXD and you want to make sure your file sizes are the same. You don't want to be too. Sh you don't want to be short, or you don't want to be long on them. So I'm just gonna put it back together again in a new file, and just scroll like that because you want to know where the end is. So six one e nine is the end. So let's go to our factory. All right, and you notice that we're at six zero two. So 6023 is what I want to start. So I'm going to go to search, go to 6023, and then just highlight it right to the bottom. You want to copy it, and then in here you want to click there, and then you want to paste it. All right, all your red stuff that you have, all that red stuff, you just want to go to edit fill section 0 D 0 A alright it will look like that alright so once you got that 61 E9 and this one's 61 E9 well we can now close the one that we put together just to compare the sizes no we don't want to save it so this one we just want to go control A to highlight it and then we'll just copy it and then in 206 is the beginning of your file factory file so you just want to right click and paste right all right you'll notice it was longer than the original file it, it won't tell you but it's longer than the original file you want to go to search go to and you want to go to FFFF -F -F -F. so that's four F's and hit enter and anything below that like starts at 10,000 just highlight, scroll to the bottom, shift, and left click again. You want to right click it and cut. So that's where 206F7 was the very, very first time, and it's where it, it's where it always needs to end is FF, 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 or sorry, 4Fs. All right, so we'll go to our next one. It should be properly, it should be already highlighted properly, so we all we need to do is right click and paste right. And uh, you'll know you know you've done it right is if you have zero and then f f f f f f f f. Once you've done that, you save it and save it because the file sizes are already the same. 
when you do stuff when you keep them the same file or when you keep the files the same length so we can just delete our little cheap backups they make now you're ready to write using packzip to the patch so we got 2067 so we'll write that to the patch and then 24CA3 we'll write that to the patch they wrote good um, you could always double check see if you wrote to the patch and you had no problems by uh, extracting the whole file into the desktop or wherever with with the minus a minus 1 minus Z and minus 15 it'll keep the whole file the patch compressed all together so so get rid of this that and call it patch dot ff and there we go you'll notice that you get errors like this don't worry about it the patch still works or at least it still should still work if you did everything right and uh, we'll open this up in notepad and we're gonna look for search find um, search for tell teleport go to teleporter and let's go move this off the way a bit and just keep going there's your teleporter cost change so you know it's in a patch I don't know there it is so our change is there so it's in the patch now so we can close all that delete that and just uh, copy and paste it into your our FTP it into your PS3 and test it out see if it works um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial if it's not too clear well I don't know just uh, replay it again and hopefully it helps you out uh, later guys